So, we are looking at lifting the 2024, the new Toyota Tacoma. I am over here in Far, Texas uh, at the Toyota dealer. And you can see right over there. And we've got a lifted Tacoma. Uh, this is something that they've done themselves. This is the TRD lift kit or the Toyota lift kit. Uh, it is a three inch lift kit. It is not a block and spacer. You get new shocks and coils and stuff. Uh, also wheels and tires. So this is the particular lift that I'm looking at. So we're going to get out and walk around it a little bit, take a look at it, and then I'll give you an idea of what the cost is. Not fully sure just yet. Uh, it might be a little bit windy out there, so forgive me for that. We'll see how good the wind buffering is. You can see the little things blowing around in the wind out there. So let's get out, take a look, uh, and see what it's all about. Okay, there's a shot from the rear. You can see it's next to the Tundra. And this is a, a good look to compare the Tundra and the uh, Tacoma, by the way. Um, there are definitely some similarities. This is a 4x4. And let's take a look down in the wheel well here. I don't know if we're going to really be able to see anything different in there. Let's check the other side. Take a look in here. It does have different shocks, uh, I was told. And these are the black TRD wheels. I like these wheels. They're pretty cool. So, And checking out the height of this. And I'll have to see when I get home, but here is my knee uh, compared to the door area here, I guess. So I'm curious to see how much difference there is. It's right about at the top of my knee. So I'll have to remember that when I get home and take a look to see. It's supposed to be a three inch lift, give or take. Let's check it out from the front. And there's the stance. Uh, definitely looks good. I mean, compared to the Tundra, uh, which looks good too. And I like we get a little bit of wheel offset. It's nothing crazy, but you can see the offset there as compared to a stock set up here on the Tundra, for example, where there's nothing sticking out. So I like that check out the other side this is a 2024 in case I didn't mention it uh, it doesn't say anything on here about the uh, lift but there's the price 44461 this is a, an SR5 uh, 4x4 you can kind of see some of the options and stuff on there I'm more interested in the, the lift there's the offset of the tires and what do they have on here? They're running a BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2. Now, I'm interested possibly, I don't know for sure yet, in uh, going with a, a Falcon Wild Peak on here. We'll see. Size-wise, these are a 285-65 R18. If you guys can see there, hopefully. Make sure, 285-65 R18. Um, not a bad setup. I might actually uh, change my mind and go with the same exact tires that they have on here with this wheel. Uh, I like the wheel. Again, I like the black that's on here, so that looks pretty good to me. While we're here, we should take a quick peek inside there. I don't know if they lock their trucks here. Look how high this is. This is the height of the truck. Kind of give you guys a little perspective. Uh, again, something to measure at home. My shoulder comes right up to the edge of the mirror on here, like so. So that'll give you kind of an idea of the height of it. A look inside it's pretty much the same as what mine is so not a lot of difference I guess on the inside of this truck this one however does not have the spray-in bed liner uh, this is just the composite bed so this kind of lets you know what the composite bed looks like without that spray-in liner like what I have um, not a big deal I do like the black treatment up here of the little visor or spoiler if you will on this truck matter of fact I think I like that better than mine that is color matched 
So, just a different kind of a look on there, I suppose. Check this tire one more time. BF Goodrich Baja Champion. All-terrain TA uh, KO2s. Again, I'm going to verify that size. Where is it? I can never find the size when I'm looking for it. Here it's upside down. 285-65R18. And this is a load rating E, by the way. So, got to check that out. See how firm those tires are going to be. One more look at the offset. Uh, again, a little bit of poke on the sides. It's not a whole lot. Not as much as my uh, electric line green was. But still looks pretty good. Looking underneath, they are still giving on this truck the uh, stock... Uh, spare, I guess, or this kind of temporary donut thing that you've got back there. Not too bad. Anyway, that's just a quick look. I wanted to bring you guys with me. I do like it. I think it looks uh, pretty aggressive. Now I've got to compare it to mine at home. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Should I go for it? Or maybe do something else? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. All right, real quick, we're back home. Just wanted to do a little comparison. That shoulder and knee measurement uh, we did at the dealership. So let's take a look. Uh, this is my shoulder uh, compared to the mirror as to what you could see on the lifted truck, I guess. Uh, a little bit lower, but what's more profound, let's take a look over here at the uh, door area. If you look, let's see, right here, my knee compared to this piece down here, which is what we looked at uh, at the dealership there, you can see uh, that's where you can really tell the difference. Uh, my knee is uh, probably about three inches or so higher, which is about right, than that part on the other truck. So, obviously, uh, it does make a difference in height as compared to the other truck.